the U.S. Ambassador addressing the United Nations General Assembly. Thank you, Mr. President. During a meeting calling for humanitarian truce between Israelis and Palestinians. And at almost exactly the same moment, Israel began some of its most intense bombardments of Gaza. It's unclear if Israel timed that and the subsequent blackout of Gaza to coincide with the UN meeting. At that meeting, an amendment sponsored by Canada and the U.S. that would have added language condemning Hamas was voted down. Draft resolution. But the 193-member General Assembly passed the main resolution is adopted. Authored by Jordan and the Arab group, it calls for an immediate truce, release of all civilians, and the uninhibited flow of humanitarian supplies into Gaza. The U.S. was the only major world power that voted against it. But even with the overwhelming support, it's unlikely the resolution will mean an end to the war. Resolutions adopted in the General Assembly are non-binding, meaning that Israel can just ignore it without many repercussions, as they've done in the past. Nevertheless, the Palestinian ambassador spoke after the vote was taken, and he said Israel should be held accountable because the world has spoken. The General Assembly prevailed and sent the appropriate message, not only to the Palestinian people, that there is justice and fairness and international humanitarian law upholded by the General Assembly, but also it sent a message to everyone, enough is enough, this war has to stop, the carnage against our people has to stop. Three weeks into the conflict, and finally the UN has spoken. A clear signal, the majority of the world wants the bombardment of Gaza to end. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.